If you're looking for a great YouTube network to join, apply for full screen with the link in the description. To trade your games in for a better value, use leaptrade.com and use Broken Games HD as a referral. All right, what's going on, everybody? So this is my seventh boss fight. This was the boss we were looking for in the stream last night, but ran into a couple of, uh, you know, really strong enemies out in the wild, and I had like 80k souls, so I decided to like back off and just go and uh you know use those souls before i lose them but you know went back and uh found where the boss was and they're called the shadows of yarnum now usually in the souls games the creators always put a type of boss like this where they have pretty much like either two of them or three of them um and there's different dynamics to each enemy and as this one was you know i don't know what their obsession was in this game with giving all these enemies the cleveland bus driver uppercut move but anyway so and this was actually the first boss that i beat without dying i didn't even die once i beat these guys on my very first try every other enemy every other boss i died at least once and beat them on my second try um that doesn't mean that in my opinion that this was the easiest boss I just I just went about handling them the right way so you have one that shoots projectiles the other one has a sword and the last one has um, pretty much a flamethrower so it's pretty obvious that the easiest one to take care of is the one shooting projectiles because he's pretty stationary um, and the one the other two are, are chasing you because they actually have to be near you to inflict some type of damage So it, it's obvious go for um, You know get in get in some hits on the guys that are chasing you, but try to get rid of the um, The one doing projectiles to, to kind of get rid of that dynamic So you don't have to worry about getting hit by projectiles when you're uh, you know running from these dudes who are actually trying to get near you so that's what I focused on doing first. But overall, definitely not, you know, a hard boss at all. You just gotta be careful getting hit by the projectiles and just pick your spots of when to attack. Just be careful, pick your spots, um, you know, just pick them off little by little and, and you'll be good. Really not too much of a, a hard enemy. And and they're really not, they're not that great at dodging, really. Um, they will dodge, but I caught them even when they dodged I caught them with a lot of side swipes and the weapon I'm using is the holy blade which you you can get this weapon um, after you defeat the blood the blood starved beast a room opens um, at the at the ward um, and you when you go to the ward you just go uh, as soon as you go straight and make a right as soon as you go down the stairs and then there's a there's a, a room that opens that I never noticed. Um, it did you know it, it just opens. It doesn't give you any like prompt or warning or hint that it opens. Some people just you know I've been walking past it for a while now because that was the third boss, and you know I went and I went and killed like the fourth, fifth, and sixth boss before I even knew that I even had access to this weapon. So yeah, and before that I was using the um. I was using the axe, which is still a great weapon, and I still have it because I upgraded it so much. Um, there's no point in selling it. it. You know, it's actually it makes more sense to actually keep it. So, but I actually was able to upgrade this um, a little bit stronger uh, than than the axe. So decided to keep it, and I definitely uh, I definitely was able to make use of some Molotovs in this boss fight. You know, just to get some extra damage in. The only the only trouble that I had was kind of, you know, in the moment was kind of when I got their health down. I'm like, OK, which one? Which one is this that I want to finish off? Because obviously you want to finish off one um, as soon as possible, because as soon as you, you kill one, the whole dynamics of it is kind of easier because it, then it's at least two versus one. But then the difficulty of the of the other two do slightly increase. So that's what you do got to worry about and then when there's only one 
then they pull out some type of new move as you can see when when I got their like health down to half uh, pretty much some snakes came out there came out the, their head and then apparently he pulls out this underground anaconda move when there's only one of them so it's a good thing I didn't get hit by that and surprisingly he didn't do that move too often I thought like he was gonna keep doing that move but he only did it once probably because I didn't give him a chance to do it often but you know I really gotta say I, I really am enjoying the game I'm enjoying the bosses uh, some are more interesting and complex than others um, but I'm really enjoying the game uh, and I gotta you know I, I can't stress enough how important if you want to have an easier time with this game I can't stress to you how important farming is I farm like I live in Ohio dog like I farm like crazy blood farm like crazy and you will dominate this game um, you're still gonna die there's no way no matter how much you level up you can't avoid dying in this game even by regular enemies sometimes because you're gonna mess up but it just decreases the chances of it so yeah that's the seventh boss that I encountered you can handle these bosses in different order you know but for me that was the seventh boss and, and a lot of these bosses are optional you don't yet even actually have to fight them but yeah that's it let me know what y'all think I'm out of here peace